Hi guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. My name is Stella Simon and I'm a clinical nutritionist. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the support. And if you're new here, I welcome you. And I would also like to request you to please go ahead and subscribe. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you about nutrition and HIV AIDS. Do you know your HIV status? As you watch this video, please like the video. HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, is a virus that attacks the immune system and it later progresses to AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. And I would like to say that HIV AIDS counseling and testing is free and it is voluntary. Once someone has been tested and the results turn out to be negative, counseling is done. And once someone has been tested and the results are positive, Counseling is done and they are also enrolled at the CCC clinic, comprehensive care clinic, and they are started on antiretroviral drugs. These medications, they fall under different categories and the first category is the nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Some of the examples here, we have zidovudine, we have lamivudine, we have ebekavir and we also have Lamivudine. And then the second class is the non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. And some of the examples here we have nevirapine and we also have evavirenz. And then the third class is the protease inhibitors. Some of the examples here include liponavir and ritonavir and we also have idinavir. These are just few examples because the ARVs are so named. I'd like to say that adherence is key. Do not miss any doses, any, any doses. Do not take the medication at the wrong dosage or at the wrong interval. And kindly do not miss your appointment. Good nutrition is very important from the time someone has been infected with HIV, AIDS. And I'd like to say that there's a relationship between HIV AIDS and nutrition. During HIV AIDS, the nutritional needs are high. And another thing when you have malnutrition, one, it leads to immune suppression. And when you have malnutrition during HIV AIDS, it leads to a faster progression to AIDS. Some of the dietary recommendations, they include balanced diet. Here is whereby you consume foods from, from the carbohydrates, from the proteins, from the fruits, and from the vegetables. And you also consume two liters of water, safe drinking water. Then you, you ensure that you check on variety. You consume foods from different food groups. Then I would like to say another a key nutrient in HIV AIDS is vitamin A because it boosts our immunity. And some of the food sources, we have carrots, we have spinach, we have mangoes, we have pumpkins, and we have the apricots. Another key nutrient is vitamin C because it also boosts our immunity. And some of the food sources include the citrus fruits, for example, tangerines, we have the oranges and we also have other food sources like like we have kales we have thyme we have the guavas and we also have the kiwi and popo another key nutrient is selenium selenium is an antioxidant and it helps to combat the free radicals in our body and some of the food sources include fish we have pork we have the sunflower seeds we have mushroom and we also have milk and yogurt the next key nutrient is vitamin E, and it is also an antioxidant. Some of the food sources include the sunflower seeds, we have broccoli, we have spinach, and we have peanuts. Another key nutrient is zinc, and it also boosts our immunity. And some of the food sources, they include the whole grain cereals. We have the cashew nuts, we have the ground nuts, and we also have the milk and milk products like yogurt. Then another thing that we consider is a high fiber diet and here is mainly basing your, your meals on fruits and vegetables. 
Then you also try to ensure that your body is getting adequate calories on adequate energy and how you can do this is one you can consume an extra plate of food every day and another way is you try to you can add the you can add oil or you can you, you, you slightly in, increase the amount of oil or you can use the margarine you can use peanut peanut butter or you can use bluebird and I would like to say that in the government facilities, there are also nutritional supplements which are provided for the patients who could be malnourished. For example, we have the fortified bladed flour, we have the ready-to-use therapeutic foods, we have the ready-to-use supplemental foods, and these three, they are provided free. So that is it for today's video, and kindly, if you don't know your HIV status, please get tested. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video. If you have any questions or any comment, please comment down below. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.